Good day, everyone. This is Sumaya Khalifa with the Islamic Speakers Bureau of Atlanta, welcoming you to another wonderful day of inspiration with the Islamic Speakers Bureau of Atlanta. Greetings of peace to all. Assalamu alaikum. We are so very blessed and honored to have our own beloved Imam Mansur Sabri speak to us today. Imam Mansur. Assalamu alaikum. Peace and blessings, everyone. Um, Honored to be here. This is uh, the third occasion for me to speak this morning on, the, on, the, on these blessed mornings of inspiration. I'm honored. Um, I'm feeling good today. Uh, with God's name, the merciful benefactor, the merciful redeemer, we call on the most high and we ask him for the good of this day. We ask him for the good and the opportunities that he provides. We ask for the success of this day. We ask for the light of this day, the blessings and right guidance. I mean, um, today I, I, I want to just really be a reminder to myself about the very strong concept and idea in al-Islam about intentions and being intentional, intentionality. Uh, there is a beautiful, beautiful hadith and saying of the prophet that, that we go back to often that reminds us about the power of intentions. And this is that every intention, indeed every action is by intention and man will get only what he intends. And when I think about this idea of being intentional, I think about the abstract of it. And, and since this is my third go round, I think I'll, 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 I'll talk a little more spiritually, um, uh, get some depth in this concept and, uh, and surface before my eight minutes are up. Um, but this, this idea of intentionality in Al-Islam is about the unseen, what can't be seen, the pattern on which God has created all things, that you have the seed before you get the plant that you have to be able to have this internal well-being, this internal life of, of, of intention before you can get the positive outward reality. And so we, we make a distinction between what intentionality is, what being intentional is, and what setting goals are. So daily we wanna set goals, we wanna have uh, a, productive, a productive day, we wanna accomplish things, but in order to do so, we have to first plant the seed. And planting the seed is making a strong and positive intention. There's another beautiful saying and, and um, quote from our beloved Prophet Muhammad that says that every deed will be rewarded based upon your intention. So this, this, this inward idea of being conscious, being aware of what is it that you intend to get from your work? What is it that you intend to get from your relationships? What is it that you intend to get from your time? That you state it inwardly, you state it powerfully, that you demand it in a way that says, this is what I will see today. I will see the light of this day. I will see the good of this day. I will seek the rewards of this day. I will give the beauty of this day. And the intentionality of how we respond to the world in our life will be the result of what we receive back. And so this morning, I want to remind us, as I remind myself to, start the day with a powerful intention. In the, in the beginning days of, of Ramadan, we will begin our fasting. And our fasting, we have this, this really strong idea around your fast is not complete or it is not begun properly without making your intentions. Your prayer, your salat is not proper, it's not complete, it hasn't begun correctly without intention. And so being able to see those practices and that formula almost as a blueprint for how we should live our lives, that we should begin everything we do with a, with a, with a blessed intention, uh, with an intention for good, and that we'll see the benefit, the reward from that. And this is a very simple practice, but you can probably attest to forgetting to really pause, have an inward moment, to think deeply around why are you doing uh, the work that you're doing today? What is your intent? What is your true meaning of what you want to get out of the beautiful relationships that you may have with your um, significant other, your spouse, or with your children, or your colleagues at work? But being able to really have that inward moment will power and charge your day, power and charge all the things you touch, and you'll see different results. I believe it. I testify in my own life of being uh, a person who pauses and takes that into account especially even to stay focused, is to be reminded of why you're 
um, preparing to do something, intending to do something. And we ask God, the creator, the almighty, to give us the good of this day, to bless us with the strength and the power of this day, to give us its light and its blessing. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. May God's peace, blessings, and mercy be upon each and every one of you today. This is Mansour Sabri. Assalamu alaikum. Imam Mansour, thank you so much for the beautiful reminders about being intentional about everything that we do and having that focus. And uh, we will all join you today in making our intentions inwardly very clear and positive, and that's how we're going to use it the rest of the day. Thank you again for the beautiful inspiration, and we will see you next week, inshallah, God willing. Thank you so much for watching and listening to us, and we ask you to please um, follow us and subscribe to our YouTube channel, ISB Atlanta, on YouTube. And you'll be able to watch all the amazing inspirations that we've had so far. Have a wonderful day, and we'll see you here tomorrow, God willing. Assalamu alaikum.